Donna, welcome back to the TOC. Um, Good to be here. <laughs> it was a tough year for you last year with um, ankle surgery and a number of months out for rehab. Um, how are you feeling now? Good. Finally, my ankle's not painful anymore and um, it took a long time to recover, but I'm um, feeling good now and, it, and feeling like I'm playing kind of a good standard of squash again. Like, it took me a while to sort of get that back, but um, finished the year off pretty good last year and I'm feeling, feeling confident and good about it again, yeah. Um, you had a nice break surfing in Australia over the Christmas holidays. Um, you look like you always enjoy getting home to Yamba. Yeah, uh, I don't get much of a chance to get back there anymore, so what I do is just heaven. <laughs> um, I had two weeks over Christmas and New Year, and most of it was spent at the beach and surfing with my brothers and spending time with my family. And um, yeah, just like savor every day that I get there because I don't, I don't see my family much. I'm more of a time. How does the um, surfing help the squash? Is there any ways that you think it improves? Well, I, I kind of joke that it's it's cross training. <laughs> I don't know how fit it keeps me, but it's better than doing you know nothing. I I, I do other training as well while I'm at home, but uh, surfing is cross training. I figure like all the paddling kind of keeps keeps my arms pretty strong. <laughs> um, now you, you're currently on a, you're currently on extended stay in North America until May. Is that right? Yeah. Um, what's what's the plans while you're here? Um, I'm gonna spend some time. We've got like loads of tournaments, but um, we've got sort of this, and then Greenwich, and then Cleveland, and then I've got a few weeks to break in between for Chicago. I'm gonna spend that time in Orlando, training with David Palmer and the people that train with him, and um, it'll be the first time I've done that. And, Sort of trying it out, but I'm really looking forward to it. I know Dave well from playing doubles with him and, and you know, being in this uh, team together. So, um, looking forward to working with him, you know, as a, as a coach. I think it'll be really good. Yeah, not a bad yeah. guy to get coaching from, I'm sure. Exactly, yeah. um, you didn't play the TOC last year, is that right? No. But, um, but 2012, you made the quarterfinals. So tell me about playing the TOC and the atmosphere on that court. Oh, it's so cool playing on that court. Um, this time in qualifying, it means I have to win like two brutal matches if I want to get back on that court. But I figure that's a pretty good incentive. That, you know, makes you want to try hard and get back on the court because. Um, I think playing on this glass court here is going to be one of the most amazing settings in the squash and uh, yeah, I really, I really want to get on there. Um, Commonwealth Games coming up in July this year, the teams aren't selected yet I understand, but how are you feeling about that? Good, um, feeling good that I'm, I'm playing good squash again and so I feel like um, as long as I can keep going the way I'm going now, I should, you know, I'm pretty confident that I'll make the team. And, um, I, I really hope that I can get selected to play in the doubles teams, but um, I guess I yeah, just got to do everything I can and playing in the, the like the doubles practice competitions that we have and try and prove that I'm a good doubles player. <laughs> Um, it's a bit of an end of an era back in Oz with the AIS closing. How's the closure going to affect uh, the Aussie players? Um, I think it's going to affect some players more than others. Um, it'll probably affect me more than almost anyone else because I was actually based in Brisbane and I was sleeping at the AIS accommodation and you know I had a strength and conditioning coach there, I had a physio and now I don't have any of that and so that's why I'm looking for a base overseas. Like, with David training in Orlando. Um, it'll affect some of the younger players who really did still need some guidance as far as coaching and, and how to train hard and that kind of thing. Um, I just hope that the, the way it goes now is Squash Australia has full control of all that and I, I hope that they can maybe find someone that will still give like the, the, the younger ones coming through that want to be playing at the elite level, I hope they find someone that can give them some guidance. Um, on a positive note, it's great news that the World Championships are back on. I was looking a little precarious there for a while. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't even know that was kind of on the cards, and so um, I've like packed my bags to be in the States until kind of May with like, all my warm clothing, and I might actually have to make a stop in Australia to get some, some, warm, with, like, some warm weather clothing before I go to Malaysia now, so um, it was a surprise, but it was, it was it's great for women's squash as well. It's, uh, it was a real bummer for everyone when that wasn't on last year, and uh, I guess it, it'll look good on the trophy now that there's no, not going to be any gap in the, in the years, and um, 
yeah, looking forward to playing it today. Um, did you make any New Year's New Year's resolutions? Or any special goals? No. I, no, I didn't actually. I, I don't think if I did, I, I probably wouldn't stick to them anyway. So I figured best not to bother. Fair enough. Well, um, good luck in your match tomorrow against Danny Owl. Um, thanks. And, yeah, thanks very much for taking time to speak to us. Thanks for having Cheers, me. <laughs>